Many of us here are born, born uh, Muslims, uh, alhamdulillah. And uh, when we were young, we learnt a lot about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the love and the passion around it. Um, and it's it's so embedded in us uh, that sometimes uh, we can't explain the passion. And alhamdulillah, here in Britain now we have many people coming to Islam, converting to Islam, and uh, and uh, we. To help them to understand and, uh, uh, these things, and but it's hard sometimes to um, when they do become Muslim um, in the early stages, especially for them to uh, uh, have the same passion. For example, when the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned, it's uh, it just makes uh, our hearts tremble and uh, humble and full of love and on everything. So is it um, a lack of our patience that we need to give people more time? How does it happen? How do we, um, how do we teach or expose um, new Muslims into to loving this man who uh, whose life is like no other, who's who, 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 who there's no doubt whether it's passionately or empirically um, worth uh, throwing your life uh, for his love. Um, so maybe, I don't know if you want to speak about your experience, maybe or, or any ways you, you recommend or, or things we can start, especially, I don't know, something like hadith or liquor sessions or salawats or certain types of people that you take them to or something like that, anything will help. Jazakallah. MashaAllah, that's interesting. One of my sheikhs was a convert, he actually said something to the effect of, I don't know why I, it just clicked for me that Muhammad and Rasulullah, because that's difficult for some Westerners. La ilaha illallah is not so difficult. Yeah. You know, that's um, just stamped on us. Yeah. You know, but the fact that the Prophet said that understanding him, you know, he's a historical person. Uh, some people don't get it, especially because there's, um, yeah, he's just not presented. Basically, because people don't know about his life. So that's the first thing, is people should need to just study Sirah, because when you learn about his life, I mean, you, you fall in love with him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And many people actually say that it's better if you're trying to do da'wah or uh, with new Muslims, that to introduce them to Sirah first, even before the Qur'an sometimes. Because the Qur'an... Can it, it can sometimes be quite confrontational. Yeah. This is how we grew up. Yeah. We grew up by not really reading and understanding the Quran. We, we grew up yeah. in Hadith and things like that. Right. No, I mean, like, I remember when I first read the Quran, like, it was profound because it was the first book that, like, totally put me on the spot. Like, it challenged me. Yeah. It's like, you either believe this or you're not. Or you don't. Like, you can't, like, kind of believe it. And, um, there's a lot of fire and brimstone too. But I was just like, I know I'm not that group. I'm not I'm not the Kufar. So <laughs> but a lot of people that they, they're turned off by the fire and brimstone, especially because they it's pushed down their throat in certain manifestations of Christianity, so like, oh I've heard this before. But the Prophet sallallahu just the seer, you know. And also the other thing is meeting people who embody his character, you know, because, I, you know, I was blessed to meet certain individuals, certain inheritors, and certain descendants of the Prophet sounds that I said, you know, and this, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the source of these people, you know, and when you see, like, a, you know, one of the awliya, you know, it's like, if you understood who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was an Adam before, now all of a sudden you understood who he is, a galaxy. You know, it's still just one galaxy amongst the infinite galaxies, but it's a big difference. So introduce them to the inheritors and, you know, study the Syria. And we should all study the Syria together, you know, and, found, and maybe we found our communities on it, inshallah.